Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about how to defend against a kick. This is going to be in two formats. The first one's going to be how would you defend against a kick more in like a sparring, studio, tournament setting. And the other version will be in the street setting. So let's get started, here we go. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to defend against a circular kick and the other one's gonna be against a kick that goes straight in. You can either block it or you can catch it. So when we do that, we're gonna do something called a, what we call a general defense, which means if we have our left foot in the front, our left arm is gonna be straight down, palm away. The right arm, which is the back arm, is gonna be cross the face, palm away. When we do the first version of this, is gonna be to block the kick. So where I wanna block is I wanna block on the thigh. We have the tibia right here and the thigh on certain people, not on us, but like certain people have nice quads, you know, because they squat and stuff. So there's a lot more meat on the bone here. So you're going to be wanting to block where the thigh is versus where the shin is because the shin is bony and the thigh is not bony. I don't want to stand still. So my partner's spinning kicks at me. I'm not just going to stand there and stick my elbow out of my forearm out to get kicked by somebody's shin. Because if I just stand there and catch the kick with my shin and my arm, it's probably going to hurt a whole lot. In fact, it will hurt a lot. Who are we kidding? I want to make sure that I go into the technique, which seems kind of funny because you're thinking like, why would I want to go towards something that's going to hurt me? Well, the theory is, is that if you stop power before it picks up speed, before it picks up more power, then you're going to feel less power. That sounds really complicated. So in order to properly do this defense, you have to really train yourself to see what the kick is going to look like. You need to know what a person looks like when they kick. So when I go in to defend it, I want to work on the timing and I want to work on the distance. So as the person goes out to kick, right when I see it come in, I want to practice that move in to go to defend it. So the moment I see them start to lift their leg up, almost like they're going to like pee like a dog, I'm going to lunge in. And when we do a lunge, it's their back foot pushing forward this way. And as we do that, we want to be throwing out that general defense. So when we do the general defense, we're not going to just lunge forward and leave our hands there. We're actually going to do a lunge forward with a bit of a push. And the push stops the technique from coming at us and it makes it go back the other direction or it just stops the power in its tracks. That's the theory. On a heel kick, it's the same kind of concept. My partner starts to turn their back. That's immediately when I want to go in. I'm always going to keep my back hand across my face in the likely event that he's going to hit me right away. So the moment I catch his leg or the moment I, I get close to him, he's going to probably throw a hand out. I need to be prepared for that. So I want to create this shield so that my, my face stays safe. Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is how to defend against kicks that come straight in. So the round kick and the heel kick are circular and the front side and back kick are gonna go straight in. If I go straight into any one of those kicks, obviously the moment he folds for the first one, boom, I'm gonna go right into the kick. So when he does the front kick, I'm gonna go to his back side. I don't wanna go to the live side, or you can, but I don't advise it, okay? So if you go to the front side, you get punched, don't put that on me, it's not my fault. You do go to the front side, you run the risk of running into the hands, which is called the live side. On the front side and back, I wanna make sure that I go to the, the dead side, which is not where his hands are gonna be, okay? The outside of his body, which is a lot safer for me. As he does the front kick, I'm gonna lunge out at a 45 away from him, and then I'm gonna lunge back in to block the technique, okay? So as he throws his front kick, I lunge out, boom, and I come in and push it. So I wanna time it, it's not about speed, because I can even do this slow, and I can still make it happen. It's all about the time and when you go. But when I see him leave the ground, his foot leave the ground, I want to make sure that I immediately go off the line. So we do it on a front kick, lunge out, lunge in. If he does a side kick, lunge out, lunge in. If he does a back kick, lunge out, boom, lunge into that dead side. So when I do this block to the inside, I want to make sure as I come in, to even if I were to just block it, this hand is going to be like at a 45 kind of guarding. So if, if he were to hit me, I at least have somewhat of a shield here. But when I do this block against the kick, if we were, let's say, in a sparring match. Let's say I am blocking right here, I'll have this front hand, boom, and I can throw that back knuckle right to the face if I want to. So let's talk about leg kicks. If somebody kicks us in the, like the thigh and below, if you're in a, uh, like a sparring match and all of a sudden the kick comes low and you drop your hands to find it, you're gonna leave your face open, so don't do that. I always wanna make sure if I do see a kick come low, and I can see this coming low because the knee stays low, once the knee raises up, I know the kick's gonna come up higher, so just a little telegraphing thing to look for. So when I see the knee drop, I'm gonna bring the shin in to go to block it. So when we do that, I'm gonna be turning towards where the shin is, almost like at a 45 from my partner straight in front of me. I'm gonna bring my shin up and I wanna point my toes down. I don't wanna flex my foot because if it kicks me in the toes, there goes my toes and my ankle. If it kicks coming this way, I'm gonna turn into it that way. This is mainly just for round kicks if someone's kicking you in the leg, right there in the thigh or the shin. You could also do a thing kickboxers do, which is when the shin comes up, the knee drops, the head goes down, and the tips of the fingers go to the top of the head. So you could use this as a shield. So when he comes in a block, I can block in this way, and I could bring my chin down so I avoid the knockout. So if his leg does come up, I can block it this way. So it's, it's up to you what you want to do. In a street fight, people aren't going to be doing this and going, whoa, 
and kicking all high like that. It's not gonna happen. They're, they're just gonna throw the leg up like that. So that would be a perfect situation if someone comes up to soccer kick me to bring that shin up to block it. So if the street fight comes and all of a sudden the leg comes in, I can be here to block it, boom, I'm right there to follow up. If you ever do see a leg come up in a street fight, you could also come in with a punch. Crop style. So if I come in this, I can come in, boom, and I can blast that person with a punch right in the face, knock him out, sweep him, take him to the ground, and that's it. End of story. Uh, the second version of blocking that, that leg kick, what you could do is you could do like a push away, kind of like a general defense. So the kick comes in, I can block it and push it outward. I want to push it in, boom, push it away, and go right for the follow-up. Because what this push does is it rockets the person backwards, okay? So if he's really kicking me, give me like a, I don't know, like a seven. Oh, right in there, you can give me more fun. Right in there, so if I see that guy, boom, I can push away and go right in for that, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed that. Uh, this is Dhruv Agrawal and uh, he's a good kicker. Hopefully if you guys do this, uh, if you are going to be learning anything from this, you need to train it. You can't just see it and be like, okay, I got it. So just, these are ideas, principles, theories, thoughts. Uh, maybe not principles, theories and thoughts probably that you want to try out and experiment with. Try in your studio. Uh, do it slow. Uh, work one move at a time. Get the concept of moving in. Uh, if you are going to learn it and you're going to train it, one piece at a time. Learn to lunge, learn to lunge and block, learn to lunge, block and push, okay? Work on keeping the distance between hand and face, or hand and body. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, let me know. Comment below and tell me what you thought. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We put out a video every week, uh, except for this last week because it was the holidays and I was eating a lot. So sorry about that. Uh, and that's about it. So until next time, talk to you.